Hey y'all, Paris TV here. Welcome back to my channel. We're back with another video. Um, so today we are going to be talking about how do you define family? Yeah, so let's jump right into it. Okay, so how do you define family? So I'm a strong believer that family is not chosen it's given um so what i mean by that is that we did not get to pick the parents that we got we did not get to pick the siblings that we have we did not get to pick the aunts uncles grandmas cousins um but i do believe that you can decide how you um deal with your family and how you tolerate your family and what i mean by that is just because it's family does not mean that it's necessarily fit for your life uh, for them to be a part of your life i think sometimes because People feel like it's a blood tie that sometimes people can't abuse family and that's not what a uh, family is for. You shouldn't be abusing your family and you shouldn't be taking advantage because it's family. Like that's my sister, that's my brother, that's my mom, that's my dad. And I don't think that it's healthy um, for you to abuse family. I think that as long as it's healthy relationships and if it's, a, and if it's an unhealthy relationship, I think that it's perfectly fine to cancel those family members out because I don't think that because it's blood that it necessarily means that it has to be around now i do think that families should support each other and love each other but some family members some family member blah, 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 blah. but some family members are just toxic like they're just toxic to your life and so i don't think family is necessarily defined by blood i mean it connects you but I do think that you can you can move family around how you please and you can add pieces into the puzzle we all have that cousin who's really not our blood cousin but let them find out you're not claiming them as their cousin it's gonna be a problem so that's what I mean we all have those aunts those uncles that's really not our uncles and I think that family is not defined by blood limitations sometimes you'll find friends and other people who are way more loyal than family members and genuinely loyal to you. So I don't think that there's set limitations on family. I do think that, you know, I think that there are certain family members that you shouldn't give up on, especially if they are trying in your life to make things better and make things right. But for the ones that just bring toxic and negative energy into your life, I think it's totally fine to disregard those family members. But I do think before discarding those type of people you probably should try to work out issues with your family and try to hash things out um but that's if both parties are in a place to accept and understand where they're going wrong how they're going wrong, and how to fix it because some people just need to really just grow up before they can reach that level of sitting down and hashing out whatever family issues you have so yeah basically you can define family really however you want i mean i like i said i don't think there's any bloodline um connection that is necessary for it to be family it could be a friend long-term friends like i know that i have built a sisterhood with plenty of my long-term friends um i know that i've had issues with family members and those have th those that have been willing to talk it out you fix it and those that haven't you just move right along i mean but at the same time, family is family, but don't let family abuse you and use you in the wrong ways and bring negative energy just because it's family. That that doesn't work. So yeah, this is all I have for you guys today. How do you define your family? I want to know what are your thoughts, um, your input on how you deal with certain family members, certain issues. Um, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.